Welcome back to the Michael Arts Show, special edition today at the golf course in Greenwich, Connecticut for the John Starks Celebrity Golf Classic, the annual golf classic. It's for the John Starks Foundation, johnstarks.com. You know, the legendary New York Nick who raises money for underprivileged kids to get scholarships to go to school in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and New York. We'll have John on later to talk more about that. Also, Kevin Sorbo coming up. I'm sure we'll have Pee Wee Harrison do some tricks with the basketball if we can find one. And of course, we will also have the Oak Man, Charles Oakley on. We've ha been having a lot of fun. Larry Holmes was on before. The champ, the great Larry Holmes. But honestly, one of my favorite guests ever is on now. And I, I just, I love this guy's story. He's such a great guy. I've known him a long time, so I can genuinely say that. And I'm so proud of him, but he's a real American hero. So he's here for you guys, the Terrifics, Ben Harrow, Captain Ben Harrow. Mike. So always a pleasure. It's, it's always a pleasure to have you on. It's so great to have you on again. Um, you know, it's funny. We, we went like 15 years without even talking, maybe longer. I don't know. And now it's about 15 days between we <laughs> see each other all the time. <laughs> so you'll be on again in about 15 yeah. days. There you go. I did invite you to Comic-Con, but you're not going to be in town. No, I, I won't be around, but thank you for the invite. Yes, of course. We'd love to have you. But any of those shows that you want to get to that we do, you're, you're welcome. Um, you were just in the Triumph Games. It yep. airs October 17th, yep. 2015, triumphgames.com. I'm excited about that. Um, what was the experience like overall? Uh, it was great overall. You know, it was for a great cause and helping promote veterans. And obviously, some of us are, are kind of banged up from war injuries or injuries at home, and that hasn't stopped us. And that's really what the Triumph Games was about, uh, promoting that message. And I, I feel like it's going to be a great show and uh, really proud to have done it. You were amazing. You did phenomenal. I, I was there. We, we showed the terrific some of that footage and, and we're working on an overall piece on your story. Um, I want to recap a little. Uh, you've got two uh, prosthetics on. Correct. Um, and your hands a little banged up. Yep. Um, you were on your second, uh, third tour rather, in Afghanistan, stepped on an IED um, as a captain in the Special Forces, yes. defending our freedom. Again, I can't thank you enough for that. I know the terrifics do. Um, and they really you know, the, the, the outpouring of support that we've seen towards you um, from being on, they love you. Uh, they can't get enough of you, and rightfully so. Um, you know, we joke around about athletes being heroes or somebody to look up to or inspirational, and sure, there are a lot of great athletes here um, and celebrities, and we look at comic book heroes and movie stars and, you know, Spider-Man, but you're really the true hero. Well, Mike, did the Terrifics like me because of my military service or because of the, my, uh, me on the ice when I stopped you on the breakaway? <laughs> <laughs> now, we did, we did show that, um, and uh, probably both. <laughs> well, look, uh, how amazing is this? Brienne couldn't stop me, and I want to get you on the ice with her. Oh, I'd love to. But you stopped me. I, it ha I think you overestimated my ability, even without legs, um, how quick I am moving left and right, so... <laughs> No, I underestimated. I totally underestimated. Yeah, excuse me, you, you underestimated. Yeah. I yeah. totally, I, I came down the ice and I thought, I'm just going to go that way, then that way, and yeah. Yeah, you're unbelievable. It, oh, I mean, that is remarkable. The, the, the whole thing is remarkable. The fact that you're here, your story, you shouldn't, first of all, you shouldn't be alive. You and I both know that. Um, second of all, you shouldn't be walking because the doctors told you you wouldn't be able to, and you most people would have said, all right, well, show me how to use a wheelchair, yeah. and I guess that's going to suck, but okay. And you said, no, I'm going to figure out a different way. Yeah, I mean, I just didn't take no for an answer. And, you know, I've been kind of standing off the side watching all these other all-stars give their uh, interviews about their athletic career. And I think that we all have something in common. And I'm not throwing myself in the same category as Lawrence Taylor or John Starks or anybody else that was interviewed. But everyone that has succeeded at, at what they were doing in life, they just refused to, to accept no as an answer, um, whether that was the, you know, the Hollywood actress and what she wanted to do, whether that was the Larry Holmes with boxing and what he wanted to be. Um, everyone just is determined and driven, and I think that sets us apart. Yeah, I, I think you're right, and, and I, think, I think you're right about that. I think you're wrong about, you know, the, you're not comparing yourself to Lawrence Taylor because we were talking before, Lawrence Taylor is probably the most vicious athlete I've ever seen on a football field. Uh, he probably, uh, it was one of the greatest football players. It's not, oh, yeah. it's not probably, he was one of the greatest football players. It was an honor to watch him play. It was great to have him on set. Um, and he certainly revolutionized the position. I don't, and he certainly played injured, but I don't know that Lawrence could have gone through what you went through and, 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 and overcome that and still be an athlete and all that stuff. So uh, there is a comparison to be made. Uh, but I agree, and it's, I think it's the determination. i got to tell you something, you know, look, Beatrific's a startup. 
uh, every day is a battle. Yeah. We have to fight for our survival every day. It's unfortunate. Yeah. You know? And we have great sponsors like Wow We that see our vision and they believe in us and, and, and they believe in our terrifics and they support them. And then the terrifics see it and they do the, the same back. They support Wow We. And we have other great sponsors like that. But we need to keep the machine churning, right? And, and, and it's hard, but this is what we want to do and we don't want to give up on it. And I got to tell you, you know, some days it's, it would be easy to throw in the towel and, and, and we don't. We, we never give up. But coming to see you was so inspirational and so motivational. And in so many ways, but even with, you know, Be Terrific, it was like, I just turned to Greg in the car when we left and I said, we gotta make Be Terrific work. We're, we're doing it and we are making it work. We've got three million viewers a month, but I said, we just gotta get the sponsorship dollars there. We gotta make this work. There's no way because this guy made sure that I, I can do Be Terrific for you because you went out there and, and, and you fought. And, and then you fought for your life and I mean, it's just so, the whole thing. But the fact, like, I would be wasting in my mind, and everybody would be wasting in my mind what you and the other soldiers do to defend our freedom if you don't give 110% every day and if you don't go out there and, and fight for what you want and, and need. Yeah, you know, somebody who I met recently during the Triumph Games, he said uh, his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, teacher told him was make every day a masterpiece. And I realize that I, I have been trying to do that with what I, the blessings that I have now and, and going out and giving 110% and whether that's sled hockey or, or just being in the gym or, or if that's just playing with my kid, you know, being there and attentive and 100% there. And I think that's a great saying is make every day a masterpiece. I love that. Yeah. Well, just last night I was thinking about you. I knew I was going to see you today. And uh, I was really tired and I had to put three proposals out for Be Terrific. And after the second one, I was like, oh. And, and I really didn't have it in me. And I, I just thought about it for a minute and I go, Ben wouldn't quit, you know? Ben, ben would keep going and, and I just did it. And, and that's what you have to do. But you're, you serve as an inspiration to me. And it's funny because ironically you said that you looked up to me when we were younger. Yeah. You know, being older. So it, it's very interesting, but I, I love it. And I, I, that's a great saying, make every day a masterpiece. Yeah. What do you think of this? This is pretty amazing. You know, right? I think this is a great turnout and it's uh, for a great event with the John Starks Foundation. Um, myself, you know, I went to college at West Point, so everyone was pretty much on scholarship and the Uncle Sam kind of paid your bill and you, you pay him back with five years of service. But I don't know if you, if you know this, but I went to a boarding school down in Virginia, which was very expensive and one of the elite boarding schools. And I was on financial aid down there. So I really appreciate organizations like this that uh, get people together and acknowledge the fact that there's some students that probably need a little bit of financial help just to get them yeah. where they're going. And uh, I think it's a great cause. It is. And I love that you're working on a lot of different things to be able to not only help veterans who have been injured, but a lot of people who are less fortunate and you're really working on setting yourself up and then giving back and, and helping other people get back on their feet. It's, it's so important because, you know, there are some people who they just give up and okay, uh, it, that's unfortunate and then nobody should ever give up. But the people who just need an opportunity just need that one opportunity. Yeah. It's wonderful when you, when you can do that. I was thinking about it the other day. I heard somebody, Carol Burnett was on, on mm -hmm. the radio and she was talking about how she just needed to get to New York and she couldn't, she didn't have the means and she didn't have the means to go to college, and, and, and somebody looked out for her and, and mailed her, uh, I think, $25. It was a, a semester at UCLA and just showed up in the mail. She has no idea to this day who did it. And then she was uh, waiting tables, I guess, or, and, and, and some guy gave her $1,000. Back then was a lot of money to go to New York and become an actress. And it wasn't a gift, it was a loan. He said, if you can one day pay it back, and she paid it back. And... and um, it was just amazing. All she needed was an opportunity, and then she was this shining star yeah. that touched all our lives, that made all our lives better in, 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 in our own way. And So people sometimes, they just need an opportunity, and I love that you're doing that, and that's really great. Um, how are Gina and the kids? That's uh, Gina and the kids are doing great. Yeah. Uh, Marquesa is about to start crawling any day now. Wow. She's, uh, she's strong and beautiful like her mother. And then Peyton is a little wild man like his dad, <laughs> and all he wants to do is uh, practice his karate on me. He just passed his first karate test and is now an official yellow belt. So he, uh, he broke a board. He was pretty excited about that. 
and uh, they're doing great. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And and we got to get Jack and Peyton together. Oh yeah, for sure. They, I mean, they probably have a lot of fun wrestling each other. Or something. Oh, without a doubt. I, I was teaching Peyton some Brazilian jiu-jitsu that I know, oh, geez, and Jack's I realized that I should stop before he actually does something pretty bad. To another kid. Yeah. yeah. And you know, dislocate somebody's shoulder with an armbar. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty amazing. Um, what what about Zipway? Uh, I know you're very involved. That's John uh, Starks's company. Yep. They make um, they started out making the you know the breakaway pants for basketball. Yep. They started out instead of breakaway pants with buttons, they started doing zippers. These special zippers. I, I saw them years ago. They're phenomenal. I told John that back then. They started making shirts and all sorts of stuff. They did a couple of things with like Battlefield Medical. I thought it was a great idea. Oh, you're involved uh, with them, and, and, and they're a big supporter of you. They, uh, John came down to the Triumph Games. Yeah, John actually came down and supported me at the Triumph Games and uh, Team Harrow. And what I'm doing with Zipway is uh, developing an adaptive line that can help uh, people like myself that are wearing prosthetic legs or in wheelchairs. And it's an easier way to put on pants uh, or shirts, depending on the injury. And uh, we're putting together a plan for that right now. It's such an honor to have you here. You're welcome anytime. Anything you ever need to promote or say or anything you want to get off your chest to, to the viewers, to the world, please. Um, it's so good to see you. And uh, I'm just glad the equipment worked this time and you got the full treatment. Yeah, so this is what the show's like when everything works. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty impressive. <laughs> yes, it is. And we've been, um, we've been employing the, uh, the PACE method, right? Is that what That's it is? That's right, yeah. PACE. Yeah. Primary, alternate, contingency, emergency. We have been, uh, uh, we, we talk about it all the time. We've been employing it now. That's so great. thank you. I can't thank you enough for that. So, all right. Uh, that's Captain Ben Harrow. And of course, we'll see him again soon at some point. He's going to keep in touch, keep us updated on his whole story. We're rooting for him in the Triumph Games. I don't know what the outcome is, but we all have to watch October 17th, support the games. And I'm sure we'll have him on at some point just to talk about how he did after that. Uh, we're going to take a quick break here at the John Starks Annual Celebrity Golf Classic, which raises money for a good cause, the John Starks Foundation. And we'll be back with the Michael Arts' show on Be Terrific right after this. You're the Terrifics. You make Be Terrific special. Don't go anywhere.